hey dudes, we might have a spaceship. You know, it's metal. It's shaped like a cigar. It's metal like a spaceship. It's shaped like a spaceship. It's got an orbit like a spaceship. You think the government would be like, yeah, this is, this is important. But I guess we don't have a system like that. Princess, we have a visitor. We have been waiting for the discovery of an interstellar object for decades, basically. You want to know how they know it's interstellar? It's because it's so high, man. It's metal. Then it couldn't be one of those creatures. That's a very unusual shape. None of the asteroids in our solar system look like that. There's something very weak coming through. Sir, I am fluent in six million forms of communication. This signal is not used by the Alliance. It could be an Imperial code. So it's very puzzling how it could have obtained this shape. I mean, it's really, really weird stuff. It's a spaceship. We will be detecting more of these in the future. It isn't friendly, whatever it is. Come on, Chewie, let's check it out. <laughs> button, baby. Everybody start! Three! Two! One! Action! What do you see? Like... Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Game on, bitches! How about this? Pay attention. the button baby welcome to asteroid fight club are you ready for it this is a thor news presentation stay cool thor news presents it was a special day when this object was first uh, discovered finally there's uh, been an actual observation of such an object we think this object 2017 u1 is very long uh, maybe uh, about a quarter mile in length Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this interstellar episode of Asteroid Fight Club. I'm your host, Star-Lord New Thor 7, so put your boots on and let's get down to business. We're over at the Atlantic. Wait, what? Yeah, that's right, the Atlantic. And we're talking about an interstellar asteroid that sent all of astronomy into a frenzy about a month ago. I didn't cover it up till now, because I was like, okay, so for like a month, Everybody's talking about this interstellar asteroid, and I wasn't seeing any photographs. I was like, I'm not going to waste my time, or your time, talking about some piece of crap story where everybody goes crazy, and you can't even show us a photograph. Because that shows you and I with a confused, confounded, dumbfounding state of our international space agencies actually is. We're supposedly super high tech and science knows everything, but your car is still running on an 1880 petroleum combustion engine. They still haven't replaced the Hubble in 27 years. We're not going back to the moon, and we're still getting photographs of Mars that aren't really that much better than the ones we were getting in the late 60s. So let's read the article, shall we? An interstellar tourist barrels through the solar system. This story is going to be more fun than a barrel full of monkeys. I want to say right off, this looks like a spaceship. Smells like a spaceship. Feels like a spaceship. But I'd guess it's a spaceship, man. I would totally guess it's a spaceship. Maybe the aliens are coming to our planet. They're going to drain us completely of oil. And then they're going to take off. Because it seems like everything in our world, everything in our economy, and everything in all of our governments is centered on and moved by the price of oil and its extraction. Astronomers describe what it's like to chart the first confirmed object from outside our home in the cosmos. Okay. Nobody saw it coming. That's gross. I was going to try to avoid the Monica Lewinsky jokes, because it looks like a cigar. But now it looks like it's impossible. The rocky object showed up in telescope images the night of October 19th. 
What year though, bro? The PanStars-1 telescope from its perch atop a Hawaiian volcano photographed it during its nightly search for near-Earth objects. Like comets and asteroids, Rob Work, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Hawaii's Institute for Astronomy, was the first to lay eyes on it. Asterisk. As he sorted through the telescope's latest haul, the object was moving rapidly across the night sky. You better work, thought it was probably a typical asteroid drifting along in the sun's orbit. It was only when I went back and found it in the data from the night before that it became obvious that it was something else. He said, I never expected to find something like this. All right, let's go back. And I want you guys to know this is not an actual photograph of the object, as far as I know. Nope, it's a classic artist's impression of interstellar asteroid Oom, 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 I said oom, 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 Maybe there's a clue there. Yeah, so far there's no photograph. I'm gonna, look, I'm going to scroll down the whole damn article. Holy crap, it's long. So there's no photograph. See, it's so like, oom, 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 doesn't play by our rules. So it's like hard to take science seriously. And they're always talking about stuff they can't even photograph. Let's Google it. Dinosaur, artist impression, artist impression. Uh... But I asked enough times, I brought it up, I was like, can I see a damn photograph? You guys better have a photograph of this stupid thing. So I eventually saw one, it was using crappy, it was, it was the usual crappy photograph. Yeah. There you go, there's a photograph of the asteroid. Actually, it looks like a man. I'm already sick of this article and it's barely even started. Work and his colleagues scrambled to secure more telescope time to study this mysterious, fast-moving object. All right, it's fast, it's shaped like a battleship, it's mysterious, and it came from outside of our galaxy. That sounds like aliens to me. They called in reinforcements to the aliens in the astronomy community. Initial observations suggested the space rock was a comet. Why was that? But when the new data showed the object lacked some of the important properties of comets, they decided it did, in fact, have to be an asteroid. But it wasn't acting like any asteroid they'd ever seen. And I was asked, like, why don't they have 50 GoPros scattered in the asteroid belt on a live feed that we can watch? But nobody ever answers. Not any professionals, anyway. When astronomers examined and measured the object's movements, they were stunned. The object didn't originate in our solar system. It had come from somewhere else and had traveled through interstellar space for who knows how long to get here. Astronomers announced the discovery of the object October 26th, calling it A-2017-U1. The University of Hawaii team eventually gave it a permanent name of Hawaiian origin. Umau Mau. A messenger from afar arriving first. Boom. There you go. Deep, dark foreshadowing. Aliens. The first has arrived. Are they going to harvest us? Are they going to harvest the oil? Are they going to harvest both? Are they only going to take the women? Are they total dicks? Have they been the ones controlling our media for the last 15 years? Did they do 9-11? Would they consider themselves Republicans or Democrats? Would they be interested in buying any of our treasuries or our national debt? Do their spaceships run on oil? Are they vegetarian? Is it legal to have sex with an alien? Is it legal to have sex with an asteroid? After weeks of follow-up observations, they have released more information about the finding in a new paper published Monday in Nature. That confirms Umau Mau is the first known interstellar object in our solar system. Can you ask these aliens if they can design a satellite or telescope that will replace the Hubble? Pretty please. I don't think the James Webb Space Telescope is going to get the job done anytime soon. Ooh, mow, mow. Is a cigar-shaped 800-meter-long asteroid, red in color, with a surface similar to comets and organic-rich asteroids found elsewhere in our solar system, according to the astronomers. Little is known about its composition, but its existence is, for now, exciting enough. That's debatable. I mean, there's no photograph so far. And if this thing was racing across the castle fast, I think there'd be multiple photographs. I mean, my phone can take 60 frames a second. How fast do these telescopes take photos or imaging? I'm going to Google this again. Oh, great. Lovely. I guess the orbit was hyper, super parabolic. It said, um, 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 um. You want to know how they know it's interstellar? It's because it's so high, man. This is where I get skeptical. And I've been skeptical, and I stay skeptical, and I stay skeptical, because look at that. See that dot? It doesn't even look like a cigar. It looks like a dot. And they're like, no, it's like a cigar. And it's not these two. No, it's not that. It's not that. That one. And so if that's the best we can do in 2017, 
That means the telescope is probably running on oil. Astronomers are probably running on oil. Economy is running on oil. So we're still basically in the 1880s, people. Damn, that is a drag. Yeah, that is the best photograph I can find. That is a joke. I'm going to take some pictures like, boom, go. Hubble, 1997. Let's pick a good year. It's because there's some big. Uh, this article's not that great. So I haven't covered that story. It looks like a giant blunt. I stole that from Danny. Sorry, Danny. It was Danny's joke. Oh, uh, mau mau is a cigar-shaped 800-meter-long asteroid. We also see that it's uh, uh, very reddish uh, in color, which uh, indicates that uh, it's been uh, uh, possibly in space a, a long time uh, and irradiated by uh, not only the light from our sun, but uh, other suns as well. Red in color? How do you know that? Those photographs are black and white, or blue and white. How do you know it's red in color? With a surface similar to comets and organic-rich asteroids found elsewhere in our solar system, according to the astronomers. Do they have names? Little is known about its composition, but its existence is for now exciting enough. Ooh, mau mau doesn't play by our rules. Astronomers have long predicted this event could happen. What does that even mean, man? You mean the astronomers are like, do you guys know eventually a large metal cigar-shaped asteroid could show up in our solar system from a completely different solar system? Well, then those guys were prescient or could see the future. Our solar system in its adolescence was a turbulent place. As the planets swirled into shape, some of the bigger ones jostled nearby material, sending some of it flying towards the outer edge of the solar system and beyond. The sun would have still had its gravity field, so how would it have escaped the other sun's gravity field? Huh. Some of the rejected material could even make its way to another star. Since planet formation is quite uniform across the universe, how do you know that? Like, have we ever seen a video of planets being made? You guys are acting like, oh, yeah, 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 we know it all. We've seen every planet formed in every galaxy and every solar system, and they're all pretty much formed the same. You're pissing me off, science. Since planet formation is quite uniform across the universe. Whatever. Astronomers believe Umau Mau is one of these outcasts tossed out of its home system. It's a spaceship. By this logic, there are likely pieces of our own solar system coasting somewhere in interstellar space. Or past another star. Holy crap, this article's long. Are you gonna tell me anything? Astronomers only had about two weeks after the discovery to observe Umau Mau before it disappeared from the view of optical telescopes because the object is moving fast and the light we get from it is reflected sunlight. The faster it moves away from both the sun and the earth, the faster it fades in brightness. You can't be too bright if you're buying this story, said Karen Meech, an astronomer at the University of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy and the lead author of the paper. She and her colleagues condensed weeks or months of work into days and raced to apply for observation time at the world's most powerful telescopes, which is competitive and tightly scheduled. Observatories squeezed them in, and other colleagues donated time out of their own projects. That was cool of them. Hey, dudes, we might have a spaceship. You know, it's metal. It's shaped like a cigar. It's metal like a spaceship. It's shaped like a spaceship. It's got an orbit like a spaceship. You think the government would be like, yeah, this, this is important. But I guess we don't have a system like that. Astronomers found that the properties of Umamau are unlike any of the approximately 750,000 asteroids or comets known to humanity. And the known word there is really questionable. In our simulations, you can see that this could not have been from our solar system. It's simply going too fast. I don't know, maybe it's from Saturn or Mars. I heard those aliens have dope-ass tech. B, said David Farnokchia, a navigation engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. It was responsible for figuring out Umamau's trajectory. Its orbit was completely different. All right, I'm going to take a break from this video. Peace out. God bless everyone. We think this object, 2017 U1, is very long, perhaps 400 meters or so long, and very narrow, skinny, perhaps maybe 40 meters or so in the other dimensions. Yeah, so scientists say a lot of shit, man. 